All right, guys. Well, here is what's on the bench today. This is a customer's guitar, and he found this at a Goodwill. So I'm going to call this video a Goodwill Guitar Rescue. So uh, Mayari is looks like a brand. It's obviously uh, something from the 70s, made in Japan. We can see that these screws holding the bolt are uh, not right. And there's a giant crack right here. It's not mounted down in there right. The pickup's right here. Look at the height of that pickup. Wow. Okay, so we got some pickup adjustments to make. But this was at a Goodwill. And uh, you got the, it's very Les Paul, right? So, we're going to try to get this thing going. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull the strings off it, adjust these pickups, test on the pickups, see if they work, pull this neck off of there, put it back in there in its proper position. we got a lot of things to do to this one, but let's get started. Alright, so <clears throat> I've got the neck off of there. These uh, neck bolts, these things are enormous. I don't think I'm going to reuse those. And uh, I got this pickup height down, and uh, so this pickup is good. I think I'm going to put a little bit of super glue under this right here to just sort of super glue that together. And then this one I have to pull it apart and uh, put a screw in there. So let me see if I got any super glue. Let's see. I think I'll just put a little blue tape on there to kind of keep it in its proper position. Okay. Dab a super glue on that. Let's see now. Whoa. Way too much. But we'll see how that goes if it holds it in place. The trick with super glue is to not get it all over your fingers. Okay, let that dry up a little bit. I actually think I have a little bit of this uh, instant set stuff that I can spray on that. Try to get that super glue to stick really quick and instant set. All right, so let's lift this pickup out of here. Okay, so guys, keep in mind my sh uh, Shred collaboration video. You still got the whole month of March to participate. Go back about a month ago to my announcement of my Shred collab. And that'll show you how to do it. You download the uh, backing track. Record yourself playing guitar to the backing track. Videotape yourself and then email it back to me. Okay, got till the end of March. Participate. Okay, here we go. Let's lift this out of here. And see what we're looking at. Okay, is there a spring laying in here somewhere? I don't see a spring, so let me grab one. There's a toothpick right there. I think I'm going to leave that toothpick in there because that will go right back in right there. There we go. Let's lay that bad boy down back down in there. This one just kind of screws into that toothpick that was already in there. So this guitar came out of a Goodwill. And this is not my guitar. This is a customer's guitar and he asked me to get it going again. And these Goodwill Guitar Rescues, uh, they kind of make good videos. They get a, a lot of views because it's very interesting and it, and it appeals to a lot of guys 
Look, man, I might be able to get something cool out of a Goodwill once in a while. He paid 50 bucks for this. And so, yeah, once in a while you can get something cool. This is an old Japanese, you know, Les Paul style for 50 bucks. If you've got uh, just a little bit of skill, you can put these things back together. And that appeals to a lot of people. And um, sometimes, you know, I can do videos on restringing brand new Martins or, you know, really nice guitars. And nobody really cares to watch that. I don't get good views on that kind of stuff. Like my Gibson uh, Hummingbird, 63 Gibson Hummingbird video from uh, last week. It's hardly got any views. Nobody cares about restringing an old Gibson. This is not Trogley's channel. And I think guys watch this channel so they can look at affordable guitars and the used guitars that I get in and the stuff that comes out of the Goodwills and the stuff that comes out of pawn shops. And that appeals to a lot of guys, and I understand that because I'm in that same boat where I want to see, I want to see that inexpensive stuff that that you can still get your hands on. Getting yourself a '63 Gibson Hummingbird that used to belong to Ryan, Brian Ray from Paul McCartney's band. You know that's unattainable. I'm just gonna set this body on a rag like this. And so I can lay, lay this in here. And what I want to do now is we got to kind of look at our scale length. Okay, so from the nut to the 12th fret, we're right at 12 and a half. So from the 12th fret to the bridge, we want to be at 12 and a half. And so this looks like it has to come as forward as far as possible. And that might be why this is kind of chipped right there. Or I mean, why that uh, pickup ring is kind of messed up. I might have to cut that pickup ring out and get that out of the place so that this neck can move back that eighth of an inch or so. To make that work okay so I got four screws are they perfect no I probably should go over to uh, Ace Hardware and get the exact ones but I'm gonna go ahead and use these and we're gonna see what happens here Okay, not so great, but it is on there, and you can see I cut that pickup ring and got that, yeah, I got that out of the way, so now let's just look and see if our scale length is going to be anywhere close. 12 and 3 quarter. There's 12 and a half there. So I think it should work. We, we, it came a little bit closer this direction. Didn't come all the way, but let's throw the strings back on it. So the strings on it are, were relatively new. And I've just got them still on the tailpiece here. So I'm going to set that back into place. And we're going to reinstall these strings. And hopefully this guitar, you know, I can intonate it and it'll be close enough. 
Goodwill Guitar Rescue. Okay, so for some reason the strap button has been mounted on here backwards. So we can flip this around. Yeah. It looks like it's already got toothpicks and stuff in there, so I'm just gonna see if I can flip this thing around real quick if it'll stick. There we go. That was weird. I've never seen that. Never seen that before. Well, I've never seen that before either. Okay, so been working on this for a couple of days now, uh, and I went ahead and I replaced the nut on this guitar, and I did find another screw for that truss rod cover. So now I'm just going to tune it up. Let's see what happens here. This has been one of those. Um, you know, guitar setup restring kind of things that has taken me a couple of days. I, I work on it and then I kind of put it back in its case and let it sit there for a little while and then I come back and work on it some more. And thanks to you guys and to a lot of these videos, uh, the store's getting really busy. So I'm doing really good business recently. And I think it's because a lot of you guys are watching my videos. Now if I get too busy, I won't have any time to make videos. But we'll see what happens there. Might have to start coming in a little bit earlier in the day. Because you guys know that I, I open up at 11 o'clock. And so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of... I've got banker hours, you could say. I mean, I think that banks even op open before 11, right? This has a 10 gauge strings on it. All right, let's plug this thing in. Let's give it a little listen. Let's see what it's doing here. This thing again was purchased at a Goodwill. The guy paid 50 bucks for it. Check the tuning on it. The pickups were really in a mess, but they just needed adjusting. All the electronics was good in this thing. Always try to come up to proper pitch when you're tuning. Tune the string up to proper pitch. I could adjust this toggle so that it runs straight up and down. It's kind of off at an angle. String height is kind of high. Let me uh, go ahead and see if I can lower the bridge a little bit. And I also think that, oh, that 
thing is almost decked. Yeah. The nut needs cut a little bit, I think. File the nut a little. Mm -hmm. You'll get lucky, guys, and you can find something at the Goodwill. And for some reason, somebody donated it. tiny little frets on it. There you have it guys. A Goodwill Guitar Rescue. Once in a while you can get lucky and find something like this out in the world. Not too bad. I did replace a couple of the screws in the back here on the plate on. I had to put a giant shim in the neck. It could probably stand to even use a, a taller shim. And the nut, it's a replacement, a plastic replacement nut that maybe could stand to be filed down a little bit. But there you guys have it. Thanks for watching. Everybody have a great day. Thank you.